Okay, as uh, some of you might know, the uh, Raspberry Pi was released. Um, and basically what this video is about is I'm asking, is there anybody out there that um, was able to order or purchase a Raspberry Pi? It, uh, for those who don't know, uh, it is a very small credit card sized computer, very cheap. $35. It uses an ARM processor and a uh, fairly advanced um, graphics processor so that it can actually do 1080p content. Um, uh, Linux distributions are being developed for it, um, so it's very good for uh, low power computing, uh, for educational purposes, and uh, things like the um, one laptop for every child kind of projects and things of that sort. Um, so there was a run made uh, of 10,000 of these and they were going to be um, available for purchase and it seems that the moment uh, that they went on sale um, uh, the two distributors um, who were going to have it their websites went down. They just melted under the impact of everyone wanting one of these. Uh, anybody who was able to get through either to customer service or onto the website uh, was told to uh, like register if they're interested in it um, and eventually um, uh, you were only able to pre-order it and um, uh, were told that it was going to be 30 days before any were available. Um, I've looked on the internet. Uh, I've tried to look through and find anyone who said that they were um, able to purchase one. And it seems that I have not been able to find anyone. So if anyone out there was able to purchase one, please let me know in the comments down there um, uh, that you were able to get one and certainly your experiences with it so far. Uh, from my understanding, the first 10,000 were supposed to be for developers uh, and tinkerers, um, you know, people to help uh, develop the project, kind of beta test it, uh, further the operating system, uh, and kind of see what it was capable of. Um, I myself am interested in using it for low power computing, uh, with like a small um, HDMI capable uh, HDTV that already has a battery in it and a USB port so that it, the built-in battery into the um, screen itself powers the TV and also then through a USB port power the Raspberry Pi um, and then hopefully um, since the TV takes in a standard 12 volt um, hook it up to a very standard uh, small solar system and then kind of test it from there and see what I can do. Um, but no, I, I was one of the thousands of people who sat there at the moment trying to hope, you know, waiting for the announcement and then trying to get through. Um, and I guess my question is, if no one, one of my big questions, and I'm not, I, I'm not totally sure that this is the case, but if 10,000 of them were available and if none of us in the community to further this project were able to get it, uh, where did those 10,000 go? Um, uh, it's kind of curious that they just sort of seem to poof in the thin air and there's been no one so far who said that they have one except for some people who have gone ahead and done the pre-order for a second batch I guess that's supposed to be available uh, within a month um, so really if if you are out there and you've gotten one please let me know otherwise where did they go <laughs> We're all wanting one. You know, big props to the Raspberry Pi Foundation uh, for everything that they've done. But we want one. We want it now. <laughs> so, uh, thanks everybody for watching the video and, and let me know. Press the button.